dear friends today we will have a small briefing on miscellaneous services given to the customers in banks the main important services other services bankers are giving is lockers so in usual terms we will say lockers this is also called as safe deposit lockers so for getting a safe deposit locker we require that banker require kyc in addition to in addition to that first come first serve basis because the availability depending upon the availability of the lockers they will allot the lockers and one more thing there are different sizes in the lockers also differs depending upon their size of the lockers and third one is the lockers can be operated jointly or single that means either or either person also or farmer or survivor they can operate and nomination facility also available but one of the caution is the locker key uh, contains one master key and second one is customer key there will not be any duplicate keys so if once a locker key is misplaced by the customer he has to bear the cost of breaking up the locker so this is a very caution so locker key should be kept very securely by the customer once it is lost he will not get duplicate key lockers if there are no nomination then it will be the articles whatever in the locker will be de delivered as per the deceased claim settlement this should be operated regularly suppose if their locker is not operated more than one year or two years three years depending upon the bank's requirement and rbi guidelines it will be categorized under risk category in that case the banker will take necessary precautions to break open the locker or to inform the customer why the locker is not opened suppose a nri customer is there he may not come to india so in that case they will allow you certain time and whereas if the rent is not paid that is main question here if rent is not paid and rent is in arrear banker can break open the locker notices if there is no response to the notices then they will break open the locker before the witness of these people containing two officers of the bank two independent other persons and one notary and this is they, they will conduct a panchanama what you say that means the inventory whatever the available in the locker they will make on a plain paper and signed by all the officials the inventory content whatever the available in the locker they will be made in presence of all these people and uh, the value also a yeah, approved value will value the whatever the articles in the locker and uh, they will be kept in a separate safe deposit custody of the joint custodians of the bank to government business transactions that is receipts as well as payments on behalf of the government so here they will get some agency commission from the government for doing all these transactions so in receipts usually the income tax sales tax professional tax corporate tax etc etc and in payments the government to employ salaries payment pension payments and uh, central government payment to pension uh, central government pensions state government pensions all these will come under various payments of the bank so in nutshell this is the government transactions banks usually do on behalf of the government and uh, here one important thing we should know that bankers also will act as an to the rbi in maintaining the cash that means the rbi cash will be available at the banks in currency chest it is called as currency chest so whatever the currency available in the bank chest is not belongs to bank it belongs to reserve bank of india so wherever the currency chests are there if they do government transactions they may not be much burden on the banks for cash remittances some other miscellaneous services of the government also bankers will do that is relief bonds and savings bonds and all these things also 
they will operate we will do initial public offer ipo services to the companies which they want to promote their shares in the public one is factoring so many other things are there non fund business that is bank guarantees lcs and all these thing will come under other miscellaneous services let us have a small discussion on pan permanent account number here pan consists of 10 letters that is alpha as well as numeric that means numbers as well as letters it contains and the first five characters are alpha that is a to z and the a to z whatever the letters the, the, the letters will be there but the fourth character should be one letter from these uh, letters that is a b c f h j l p t r g only these letters should be there in respect of the fourth character of that five letters fifth character or letter should be the starting letter of your name the sixth to ninth character should be numeric only and the 10th position that is 10th letter should be always alpha that is a to z letter some letters will be there if the fourth character is c in the pan number if the fourth character is c then the major head is 0020 that is corporate tax that is ssc is a company so this is in nutshell about the pan same fashion there is tan number also that is a tax deduction and collection account number for each uh, individual organization they will give the tan number and this will also contain same alpha numeric characters in nutshell this is other miscellaneous services given by the banks